G'day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here, and behind me is the brush painted Mark V 30 watt sunfoil. Those of you who've been following the story are aware that the paint failed the first time because I used the correct colour match but it was the cheapest paint in the shop. So this time I've gone for a brush painted finish and that is a vinyl stick-on piece of sign writing. Uh, the first time I used these vinyl stick-on signs, old mate Andy Clatworthy, bachelor of sticking stuff, gave me almost three complete sets of signs. So the first lot went on in the wrong position and I pulled them off and the second lot went on but the paint collapsed from under them. And the third lot doesn't actually have two copies of the bit that says Mark V. So instead of having Mark V going on the pylons at the rear to match the sunfoil on the pylons at the front, I've decided to uh, stick the one <laughs> Mark V sticker on the leading edge. So from the front, fairly visible, it's going to say Mark V and anybody who gets a bit interested can turn around and discover the Sunfoil logo on the pylons. So I'm going to lock the camera on here and hopefully I'll show you all how a person goes about using these... Uh, stickers all right and we've just had a big burst of sunshine so it's got to be central so I'm just going to mentally project that line down there and set that up with the vertical stroke of the K in mark 5 I want it to be able to be read <coughs> more or less from the front so these little stickers um, the vinyl comes on a roll the computer cuts the stickers out and old mate the bachelor of sticking stuff glues a front piece on it which is pretty much micropore and a back piece on which has to be peeled off so we fiddle around here until we get the back piece to peel off and that gives us sticky back vinyl we now come and mentally project that down until it's exactly where you want it and let's hope we get it right. you got one opportunity to change it but I don't think I need it. Give it a light little rub, tiny amount of time to set and then with a fingernail pick up the edge of the micropore and pull it back fold it back on itself if you do that the vinyl sticker will stay connected to the job I initially didn't want to have any stickers on the front because I figured they might get knocked off by contact with branches or whatever um, but when you've only got three stickers and nobody can see the trailing edge but the uh, the angle go so you get sunfoil mark 5 and I can see that I got the, the bottom of the writing not quite perfectly lined up but I don't think there's too many people are going to be picky enough to notice that and from this angle as well the sticky beaker can see the sunfoil and the mark 5 
which, if they're really curious, I'll go looking. So there we have it. The brush painted second attempt at the Mark V and I think I'm going to change my clothes and load this into the car and go into town and bolt this back into place on my son's turbocharged intercooled diesel Holden Rodeo four-wheel drive. Warbles on a lot to YouTube and the Sunfoil Club. Ciao!